Well, putting our hand to the fire again, welcome back to the Halo series with the sequel to the must-have AAA Xbox Live game Spartan Assault, and I'm hoping that the two years spent developing amounted to something, Vanguard, considering your last game was one of the worst ways I've ever spent three hours. Except for that hide-and-seek marathon in the Pine Forest. The game starts as we mean to go on by, again, defenestrating all the game's stakes right at the start, just like Spartan Assault, always a good sign. Talking to Roland about how today the same unnamed protagonist is going to be spending his day watching simulations, except this time we're being put into the boots of yet another unnamed Spartan taking part in the invasion of new Mombasa from Halo 2 and ODST. So, kick on your orange boots and get going on more standard COD objectives that will save the world in a way you'll only understand right after the credits. This may sound like another verse same as the first right off the bat, but I'm not as down on the game as I was its predecessor because Vanguard spent the development time to get some improvements done, such as adding in the reticle that I wanted last time. Hallelujah! And the game does a bit better in adding context to the missions. Not much, but at least there's a tangible goal this time. Finding the Conduit, the Forerunner artifact that 343 invented for this game right out of the blue. It's a device that allows its users to open portals to wherever they want. An ability they already have. And it's always strange that the Forerunners seem to be this race of hyper-intelligent scientists that only invented specialized weapons. Why didn't they just time travel 500 years into the past and give us the cure for cancer? bunch of dicks. Anyway, just like the Holy Grail, the conduit keeps changing hands because the Forerunners thought it a brilliant idea to give the conduit the ability to go into hyperspace whenever it wants. And it gets taken to one of the five unvisited halos called the Gamma Halo, where we see that the peace talks between the elites and the brutes have worked out since ODST, strangely. Now, they're back to being one covenant and they've enlisted the Prometheans to their side for some reason. The game doesn't tell us anything about the Prometheans, and from this game by itself, I can only assume that they belong to the same species that the Sentinels do, and should only be looking out for threats to the installation instead of helping one side try to beat up the other. So we go on to Halo, take the conduit back to New Phoenix, and shut down the portal opener's core to save the day. The story's a step up from Spartan Assault, but it's not better since it doesn't explain anything about why our enemies are fighting us except using the same generic reason that the last game used. They are the Tewoist. Let's not forget, please, that the biggest strength of Halo 2 was being immersed into Covenant culture so that the enemies formed a cohesive character that could be built on in other games. But thanks to the gameplay fix, is that this series sorely needed, I can now have some enjoyment from this game and be further interested in other twin-stick shooters because the gameplay is solid, fluid, and actually a lot of fun to just run around at Mach 2 and kill everything, and ultimately it is worth the $5 investment unlike its predecessor as a nice gameplay-focused three-hour chunk of entertainment. Although I do hate the fact that Spartan Strike decided to include a final unlockable mission using the Mario idea where you have to 100% all the levels. I hate this concept because it usually ends up being a ton of grinding to get it something that's never worth it, and since it is bonus content, has no bearing on the story. So I really don't give a shit about the mission where you get to replay Halo 3 ODST from top down. Otherwise, take this as a recommendation if you have nothing better to do and some pocket change kicking around, get it on your Steam listing as a snacky time sink. Next time guys, we'll be looking at the latest Halo game, Halo 5 Guardians, and I'm hoping that the new console generation will look generously on the Halo series. Yes, this is my first game for the Expo, and I'm being positive about it, so without further ado, here's the final opinion along with my sincere victory for gamers. As always, I'm Kaz the Boss Incinerator, and I hope you have a wonderful day.